good YouTube. I got a pure scoring machine for y'all today. And this build is really unguardable, especially with the shooting. We're going to get right into it, though. Don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button. And hit them post notice too. So we're going to go in at the point guard. But you can go at the shooting guard position. If you got a point guard on your squad already, definitely go with the two. But we're going to go 6'6". Six, six. Take your weight all the way down to 180. And keep your wingspan at 6'7". Body shape goes slider compact. And that's really just going to be to get better slips to the rack and everything. Boost your slithery up a little bit. We're going to jump right into the shooting on this one. So this is really going to be OP, bruh. We're going to go get a 93 ball on that 6'6 build. So most of y'all already know, if you got a 93 ball or above, it's really a different threshold, bro, with the make percentage and everything. 89 and under is a slightly lower threshold. It's not as drastic of a difference as when you get into the 70s and everything. But, bro, there's a noticeable difference having over a 93 ball. So we're going to keep that right there. And another thing we're going to do, bro, you see you getting blinders for five points on gold. And Sniper is worth six points on Hall of Fame. We're going to boost this up. We're going to get some more badges, too. But watch the blinders, bro. You see blinders drop down to four points. And your Sniper drop down to five points. So that's player right there. You got all gold and Hall of Fame badges. The only thing you don't got is Mismatch Expert. But literally no 6-6 six, six build. Get that, bro. Even the glitch builds. So we're going to put the free throw on. Go up to 72. And with 32 shooting badges, I'm going to show y'all the best way to stack these badges, bro. With 32 on a 6'6 build, it is really going to be crazy, bro. Not even going to hold you. We're going to go right to the finishing. So you're going to go get the elite contact dunks. Put your driving dunk up to 92. We're going to put the vertical up real quick, though. Put this up to 80. Make sure you don't forget that. And your driving layup. We actually going to boost this up 10 points. So you got an 82 driving layup, 21 finishing badges. And y'all can see exactly what the badges is worth right now. The only badges that you need, bro, I'm telling you. You feel me? Is the limitless takeoff, slithery finisher, and posterizer, bro. Really the only badges you need. And that's going to be 17 badge points right there. You're going to have four more points left. So I really would suggest you probably go with, if you're using an acrobat, you feel me? Throw on a go acrobat and maybe put back boss bronze. But if you're not using the acrobat, I would go put back boss, fast twitch, and fearless finisher, bro. Really going to be the fire, the fire setup. But just showing you, you feel me? You don't need more than 21 finishing badges. You can throw a couple more on if you want to, but really bro it'd be it'd almost be no reason but we good right there and again you got 32 shooting badges so your finishing is already unstoppable you already coming down getting elite contact dunks at will bro and then you got 32 shooting everything hall of fame and gold bro you feel me? your green window is open like crazy we're gonna get right into the playmaking though so another thing you're going to want to have on this build is going to be gold unpluckable, bruh. We're getting gold unpluckable on this build and Hall of Fame tight handles. So on the scoring machine, you really going to have the, you really going to have a ball in your hands most of the time because, bruh, bruh, that's literally your job, bruh. You feel me scoring and anything. Depending on what game mode you're in, you might have a ball a little bit more, especially in a park, bruh. Like if you're in a park or maybe even in no squad 3v3 and everything you gonna need to have that gold unpluckable on if you in the wreck to where you might not be running the point that'll be a little bit different you could go down to 84 right here and just keep the gold hyper drive and everything silver unpluckable but we're gonna get that gold and again you got the hyper drive gold quick chain gold this is really too fire bro <laughs> we're gonna go 84 on a speed with ball. Put your pass sack up. So your pass sack, you want to put that up to 20, 27 playmaking badges at 77. 
So that's literally the most amount of playmaking badges you can get on this build, you feel me, without changing the name. And that's really crazy, bro. <laughs> you feel me? Because you got overpower shooting and then your playmaking. Like, you feel me? You can get ankle breakers. You can get stuns off the Hall of Fame tight handles. And they can't steal a ball from you, bro. <laughs> you feel me? It's really too crazy. I'm going to show y'all everywhere y'all got to put the badges at, though. Again, bro. And we're going to get into the defense. So, this is not a defense heavy build but you will have the clamps badge on and i gotta i gotta say bro i co-signed the bronze uh clamps badge bro i'm not even gonna hold you a lot of people might say the perimeter too low and everything i definitely understand you feel me if it's too low for you i definitely got some two-way builds for y'all you feel me some with higher perimeter defense everything like that even similar to this bro but this bit brighter this with the shooting is <laughs> you feel me it's crazy you feel me the other builds with the higher defense probably not gonna have as many shooting badges but again this is a scoring machine bro this is what the build is for i got y'all with a two-way scoring machine though real soon you're gonna want to put your block rating up so you get you actually get in the goal interceptor badge i know a lot of y'all know that the passing lanes is patched you can still get steals and everything but it's not nearly as easy, bruh. And you will really be gambling most of the time, bruh, going for the steal in the lane. But we're going to put your block rating up to 62. And that's just to get your 10th badge. And we go right there. We're going to put up the acceleration stamina. And you want to go 85 right here. Max that out. So you got... 21 32 27 and 10 and bruh the most important thing honestly would be the would be the finishing bruh because the finishing is what's making sure you good <laughs> you feel me if you ever get locked up from outside the three and everything all you got to do is run right down to the rack and you actually do got ball handle so it's not like you got under an 80 ball handle or even an 80 because let me show you all the big difference if you got an 80 ball handle on this build, look how many badges gold you lose and everything, bro. You lost your hyperdrive, your quick chain, handles for days, unpluckable, everything like that. Those badges is going to be super important on this build, bro. You will want to have most of those on gold. You got the quick first step and everything. We're going to get into the takeovers. So you see you got playmaking, sharp, uh, shot creating, and slashing. All the offensive takeovers, bro. <laughs> you feel me? That's fire. And you're not even a playmaking point guard, but you can throw on that uh, that playmaking badge. So, honestly, that'll make you a little more overpowered, too, because if you actually is facilitating, if y'all running something like five out, you feel me? You definitely could throw on that playmaking badge. And you feel me? Help your squad out. I probably would go with the team ratings boost. Either the team ratings boost or the team takeover boost. I would say team ratings, but first you do want to go with either. I probably would say the uh, the limitless range. Oh yeah, for a fact. Go with the limitless range takeover, and you really don't need the slash and takeover. You could go with the slash and second, but again, if you want to go with the uh, with the takeover for your squad, go with the team ratings. Ankle breaking shots is fire. I'm not even gonna hold you. I probably would say, yeah, yo, I, I probably, I probably would say you can go with the finishing. You feel me? Just cause you a scoring machine. But again, if you want to go with that playmaking or that uh, ankle breaking shots, it is really gonna be crazy, bro. We're gonna get right into the badges though. I'm gonna show y'all where to put everything. So finishing, we're going to get through this real quick. Posterizer, slithery. The one. And put back, boss. All right, we good right here. So you actually don't need Lob City. Fast Twitch is really not needed either, but I would, I would see you kind of wanting that badge. Even Fearless Finisher too. So if you do want to throw those badges on, all you got to do is take off the uh the acrobat or even take it off silver you feel me you good putting it on bronze that way you throwing all three of those badges on 
still having a putback boss too uh acrobat silver it's not that much better than bronze you feel me so if you actually do want to put it on silver you can switch it back but bronze is decent too we gonna go gold blinders for sure bro gold circus threes this setup is really gonna be fire bro. gold stop and pop you still got corner specialist bronze you could throw on gold chef Hall of Fame Sniper, High Zone Hunter Gold, still could throw on Lucky 7, Green Machine, and y'all right here I either would, yo bro this is a fire setup, <laughs> yo this is exactly how I set it up, the only difference if you are not using the corner specialist you really gonna want to throw on the corner specialist though cause that's gonna stack on with your circus threes and everything if you fading out the corner if you're not fading out because you don't you don't have to use circus threes in the corner but you feel me i know a lot of people do stack that with the corner specialist but this silver dead eye fire badge you definitely gonna want to have that at least on silver green machine i definitely see a reason for putting that on gold if you want to throw that on gold either drop down your dead eye or not yeah yeah for a fact bro I probably would drop down the dead eye and the corner specialist and we go right here unless you straight pushing the rock man and you feel me you don't need to catch and shoot that's a fire setup though for the playmaking bullet passer quick chain you're gonna want to put that at least on bronze quick first step throw your unpluckable on tight handles you don't gotta throw that on uh hall of fame you could throw it on gold or silver even Handles for days. And yeah, I probably would throw on a gold quick chain. We good right there. If you want to use, like you could, yeah, you could even drop this right here. You feel me? Go silver, silver, bro. That's really my favorite combination right there. You feel me? For playmaking badges, like for the dribbling badges, but just because you usually could take down you feel me if you only getting this on gold right here if you got four points these two is usually worth two points on silver you feel me depending on how you made your build with your ball handling this and everything but for a lot of people i know you get both of these on silver for two points for your defensive badges ankle braces clamps intimidator pig dodger rim protector and all these is on bronze bruh but all these is actually good bronze badges not even gonna hold you. Still got Menace. You got Hustler. And I would I would put the I would put the interceptor on over maybe over Menace, bruh. Not even gonna hold you. You throw that on silver. You could add a couple more uh badges onto your defense and everything. You do got these badges unlocked, you feel me, to the levels that you need at like the hustler badge hustler badge is better than it ever been so you feel me you could add a couple badge points on or just drop down something else but you will want to keep that ankle braces on just gotta let y'all know that you feel me but i'm gonna hit y'all in the next one don't forget to hit that like button and hit that sub button be easy